Hey there, it's Parkzo2000. Welcome back to the 11th take of me trying to record this video. Today we are going to be going over the emergency vehicle created by Redon Tech, which is a free plugin to make ELS for your vehicles much faster. Now this plugin is subject to a lot of updates, so if, this t if in the title of this video it says outdated, please check down in the description or comment section for an updated YouTube video. Alrighty, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get over how to use this plugin. So we're going to go ahead and open up this page by following the link in the description to this page. Once you get on a page like this, go ahead and click the install button. Now this should open up Roblox Studio. You might get asked if you would like Roblox.com to open Roblox Studio. Just click open. And after a few seconds, you should get into Studio and then see a prompt similar to this one. It should say emergency vehicle created successfully installed. Once you have seen that, go ahead and open up the studio that you want to use. In my case, it's a file, so I'm just going to quickly open up the file. Now, once you get into the place, you can go ahead and set up your vehicle. In order to set up our vehicle, we're going to go ahead and go into body light bar. And I'm just going to remind myself of how many lights there are. On this vehicle, there's 22 lights on the light bar because this is a federal signal integrity, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. And then we have two lights on the RAM bar. Now, I have named these PB1 and PB2 and LB1 through LB22 for the light bar. I'm just going to keep that in mind for when I export the, from the plugin. Now, I'm going to go over here to the plugins tab. I'm going to go to manage plugins and I'm going to scroll down. And you can find Manage Plugins over here, it should be on the very left, it should always be on the very left. And I'm going to find the plugin. So this might take a minute, and I might actually need to restart Studio, because sometimes Roblox just does not like to work how I want it to, and it might require me to restart Studio. And yes, it will. So I will be right back, just give me one moment. Anyways, now that I have reopened Studio, if we get this a few minutes to, you know, load in all the plugins, because Roblox is slow, and they are buggy, and none of their stuff works, which it still isn't working, there we go, it's starting to load in slowly, if we just give this some time, it should eventually load in everything. Okay, there it is. So, now that we have this here, we want to find it, which is Emergency Vehicle Creator, and we want to click on this little edit button right here. You want to make sure that this box is green. If it's not green, go ahead and click on it. You want to make sure that this is green, otherwise the plugin will not work. This is so it can export to into the place with a new script. So we're going to click on the little icon right here. You can find this. It should say read on tech plugins. Just click on this. Now let's go over some basic terminology. On the left hand side over here, this is called the info screen. On the right hand side, this is the editor. On the left hand side, there's all these configuration buttons. On the right hand side, there's all these columns. So columns are these vertical things, as you can see here. These are the columns. We can add to the columns by clicking this button here, and we can remove by clicking the minus button on the right. Now these horizontal little buds right here, these are called rows. We can add to these by the same method by clicking down here and clicking on the minus button. So we can keep on minusing until however many we want. And let's say you accidentally screw something up, you have a lot of something that you don't want and you want to reset it. To reset you can click on this button or you can click R on your keyboard and just click yes. And then it will reset everything to scratch and if everything worked right we should see that work just fine. Now, there's these errors flooding in output. They shouldn't be happening, but due to some bug somewhere in the system it is happening, I will fix this before the plugin releases. So there is no reason to worry about those that won't be in the final version of the plugin. I promise you that. Alright, so. I am actually going to quickly do something that should remove that error. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay, now that I'm back, that error should have disappeared, but whatever. So, 
I'm gonna reset real fast and I'm just going to clear output and for the rest of the video the output will just remain the same even if there are errors down there because I'll be changing it in the editor. So like I said that bug will not be there in the full release. It will be fixed before then so don't worry about it please. Alright so let's go over the buttons on the left hand side. Right here we have the selector that will allow us to change the wait time between each frame. So this is the pointer, and this allows us to change the time on this pointer, and whenever we add a spacer, we can also change the spacer's individual time, I will go over that later. These are the buttons to select the color, so if I click on these, we can select the color. I can also use the keys on my keyboard to select these. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 at the very top of your keyboard. Now, if you are selecting on something else, for example, if you're uh, selecting Firefox or whatever browser you use and you use those buttons obviously it won't work it's the same system like if I'm clicking like for example if I'm moving around inside the viewport I won't be able to click on the buttons either until I actually click on the editor so as you can see I can click on them now and there's also a few more buttons we have the pause play button. This allows us to pause and play the pointer. We can also use P on our keyboard to do this. And we have this lock button, which I will go over in further detail in a little bit, and the reset button, which I've already gone over. We also have the load site. This allows us to load and save items. Now, whenever you reinstall the plugin, like actually physically uninstall it and then reinstall it using the browser, everything in here will be deleted. But that's not a thing to worry about. Just please note that the saves will not always be there. Okay, so let's make an actual pattern now. So like I said, we have 22 lights on our light bar, so I'm just going to do that. We have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to add a spacer to separate it, and here is a spacer. So we can make a spacer by using spacebar on the keyboard and we can remove it using the same way that we remove columns. So here's a spacer. I'm going to make this spacer for the backside. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna do the same thing again. One, two, three, four, Five, and now we should have 10 on the back side. So this is going to be the back of the light bar, and this will be the front. Now, I am going to quickly make a pattern, so there will be a time lapse, and I'll be right back. Oh wait, actually, let me go over the lock real fast. So, the lock is done by clicking on this. So when the lock is on, you can see I can only actually add lights to the row I started in. Now, for some reason, this isn't working right now. I don't know why these bugs always have to show up when I'm recording and not when I'm actually testing. But normally, when the lock is off, you should be able to just... On, you should be able to drag in one column. Now, when the lock is off, you should be able to drag in all these columns. Now, let's say I turn it back on again. Um, I can only drag in this column. Or I should only be able to drag in this column, but because there's some random bug that's showing up right now, not when I'm testing... I can't figure out why that's not happening, but normally that's how the behavior should work. I'm going to try to fix that. I don't know what's causing it, so sorry about that. Anyways, I'm going to make the pattern now. I will time lapse this part of the video. Okay, now that we're done with our pattern, I'm actually just realized I forgot to do the 
want to push bars, so I'm going to quickly do that. This should be really easy, and I'm just going to do a simple bump, 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 and a bump, 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 bump. Just to create a really simple one real fast. Okay, so now we have our pattern all done. We can save this by quickly doing a blue and white on the LB slash pattern one. And I'm going to save that there so I can load it in in the future. As you can see, I can just load it in now. So for example, if I were to reset and load this in, I would get this boom, working just fine. Okay, so now let's export it. In order to export this, we need to do export. The R plugin part is still in the works. When that comes out, the new video will also be out. So we're going to quickly do this by doing in every single one, which is going to be LB1, LB2, LB3, LB4, LB5, LB6, LB7. So this is where you enter the name of your lights. So my lights are LB and then the number. So this would be like on some cars, it might be light bar one or something like that so that's just where you enter those so and as you can see we did it right and we do indeed have 22 lights and then we have pb1 and pb2 and now we can click done and we can close this up and if we come over here we can see the export which automatically separates them all via there well, so if we click run here we should see the pattern and just save that to the form now if we take this and copy these three scripts which are separated into three scripts by the spacers so every spacer you place separates it into a new script. So we have LB13, which is this script, and LB1, and controller24, which is the push bar. And now if I run this, you can see that the pattern is working just fine on the vehicle. Now, let's say we want to incorporate this into a uh, vehicle or let's say we want to change the wait time for example that wasn't fast enough for us and we want to change it we can come in here and we can go into all these controllers and at the top we can change the wait time um, and we can run this and now if we give it a second boom we have it faster now and now that looks a bit better in my opinion I do like the faster version so I'm going to keep it like that. Now we can close all these up. And let's incorporate this into some standard light bar system. So I'm going to go into Toolbox, My Models, and I'm going to find just some police car I already have, which is this right here. And I'm going to go in here and copy our pickup and siren control and everything else out of the light bar model. So the strobes and the on script. So if I copy all these and paste them into here, we should see, yep, we have this, except I do want to convert this to a bool value, or, yeah, hold on, let me grab a different vehicle to copy those scripts from, because that does not want, that's not the one I want, um, so I'm just going to search up TFI or something, uh, definitely not, hmm, TD. Yeah, yeah, here we go. I know the TFI script has the one I want, so I'm just going to copy this one. So, if I go in here, drive seat, copy this, paste it into here. And I'm going to copy the on remote event and the stroke script. Paste that into here. And if we look in here, yep, that's all fine. I'm going to delete this stuff. And I'm going to now go into the controller one. I'm going to add an 
or sorry, I'm going to go and indent these all by one by using tab. I'm going to do if lightbar lightbar dot on dot value equals equals true, then else we'll do light. We'll copy all of these. And we're just going to replace all of these with a zero. So zero is the number for the off, and all the other numbers is for the color. So I'm just going to do that, and we're basically going to repeat this on the other script. We're going to do if light bar dot on dot value, then, or we can add an equals equals true or whatever. We can add it then. We're going to go like this, else. And we're going to copy this little last bit right here, paste this into here. Same thing with this one. And because I'm kind of like I like to indent all that, but you don't have to indent it if you don't want to, it's just recommended. Okay, and now we can add that zero in. And now, if we add the middle, I forgot to add that, we need to just grab this. If I add the part called middle to the light bar, because I don't have one, do I? No, I do not. So I need to go in here and I need to grab the middle part that everybody always needs and rotate this put it in here whatever okay now if i play here we give it a few seconds We can get in. Oh my ears! Holy, that hurt. Jeez, I'm gonna quickly adjust that. Let's just make that like one. Okay, still loud. Zero point one. So, as you can see, I can hit J on my keyboard, and now I can turn on and off the lights. So that's how you use the emergency vehicle creator and set it up to be on your ELS vehicles. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, bugs, or suggestions for this system, you can join our Discord down in the link in the description, and if you need help, you can contact us through the community support channel. If you have a suggestion, you can use the suggestion channel. If you find a bug, you can also report it using the community support channel. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for using our system, and I hope you use more of our systems, and I'll see you in our Discord. Peace out.